cause Jamie, but Ronald has. There is Ronald, and he's got some wildebeest friends, and one of them came right past him, and paid no attention at all, and unfortunately Ronald is immobile today, so I can't actually move him. Well, this is quite fun, isn't it? This is marvellous that we've got this wildebeest action going on here. I wish I could move him. There, look! <laughs> Hooray! Ronald finally performs after goodness knows how long. That is brilliant. The wildebeest herd come down to drink. The one on the left don't look so good. Looking a bit hippie. Oh, one on the right coming in the migration. This is the best. Now, if I was to move Ronald, which I can't, these things would almost certainly scatter to the wind at an enormous panicked speed. But now they're happy to sit in his company, and he obviously doesn't smell too much like human being at the moment. Don't kick him over. There we are. Oh, oh. That was close. Oh, this is just beautiful. Look how quickly they drink. That couldn't have been more than sort of 30 seconds of sucking up the water. This one's been at it slightly longer. I suppose it isn't very hot, of course. So they don't have to worry too much. And you'll also notice, perhaps, how they came straight into the water to drink. They know that there are no crocodiles here. They don't have any fear of crocodiles in this water hole, which, of course, is very dangerous because it's not to say there will never be a crocodile in here. Yes. Are you enjoying your drink? Oh, I just think this is magic. There he goes. Goodbye. A nice day. <laughs> that is wonderful. All right, well, we'll keep an eye on Ronald and see if something else doesn't come down to have a drink. In the meantime, we want to do an experiment. Halfway through, or during the TV shows, our most recent TV shows, what we did was we put a, an antlion under the microscope, and then we put it in the sand, we watched it dig itself in. And Craig said to me, quite unaware that we had done this, he said, wouldn't it be fun to watch it actually dig its pit? And I said, well, yes, I think it probably would be quite fun to let, dig, let it dig its pit under the microscope. So that's what we're going to do now. There is the antlion. There it is. It's warmed it up. I've left it in the sun. Okay, come back to me, and now we're going to put it in the sand. Here is the sand that Craig has carefully sifted all of the sort of big bits out of. And what I'm going to do, uh, let me just lift this up a bit. And what I'd quite like to do is just see if we can't leave him digging there and see if we can't get a picture of an antlion actually digging its pit.